study at IU School of Medicine shows virtual reality sessions can help Hoosiers who are battling substance abuse. Tonight, our Matthew Fold shows us how this new tech works. Well, this technology is pretty fascinating. Think the virtual headset goggles that you use. That's exactly what this is doing, and it's taking people and placing them in virtual reality, facing their future selves, and we all know that can be either good or bad. Now, Brandon Oderlin is an assistant professor of psychiatry at the IU School of Medicine and led the virtual study over the last four years. That study places a person who is in early substance abuse recovery inside a virtual environment with their future selves as avatars, and those avatars are nearly realistic. So for this past study, they looked at 21 different people who were able to speak and have conversations with their future selves, showing what life will look like either on or off their addictions. Oberlin tells me that out of 21 people, 18 remain clean and sober for that 30-day period and beyond. It seems like the people that are having more of a connection with their future self after this experience uh, are doing better. That's what it looked like. Now, furthermore, across all participants, before and after the virtual reality experience, we found a big increase, a near doubling of delay tolerance. So we can actually quantify how much somebody is willing to wait for a reward. Now, Oberlin tells me that majority of the people that went through this trial were emotional when they saw themselves virtually in the future, and he and other researchers are hopeful that they can have more trials soon in the coming months and years with larger groups. And according to the CDC, last year, Indiana had more than 2,300 deaths related to drug overdose. So Oberlin is hopeful that soon this uh, new technology can be federally approved to cut down on those numbers. We also have a link on our website right now at WTHR.com with a full breakdown of this trial.